the black swan. Black on flat water, past the jonquil lawns riding, the black swan draws a private chaos, warbling in its wake, assuming, like a fourth dimension, splendor that calls the child with white ideas of swans nearer to that green lake where every paradox means wonder. Though the black swan's arched neck is like a question mark on the lake. The swan outlaws all possible questioning, a thing in itself, like love, like submarine disaster, or the first sound when we wake. And the swan song it sings is the huge silence of the swan. Illusion, the black swan knows how to break through expectation beak aimed now at its own breast, now at its image, and move across our lives if the lake is life, and by the gentlest turning of its neck transform in time, time's damage, to less than a black plume, time's grief. Enchanter, the black swan has learned to enter sorrow's lost secret center where like a maypole, separate tragedies are wound about a tower of ribbons, and where the central hollowness is that pure winter that does not change, but is always brilliant ice and air. Always the black swan moves on the lake. Always the blonde child stands to gaze as the tall emblem pivots and rides out to the opposite side, always. The child upon the bank, hands full of difficult marvels, stays forever to cry aloud, I love the black swan, the black swan.